Crossing Jordan, a popular crime drama series that aired from 2001 to 2007, featured a diverse and talented cast who brought its gripping storylines to life. Sadly, over the years, several actors who contributed to the show's success have passed away. These actors, whose performances left a lasting impact on both the series and its audience, are remembered for their contributions to the compelling narrative and complex characters that made Crossing Jordan a beloved show. This tribute honors the lives and career of 28 actors who are no longer with us, celebrating their legacies and the indelible mark they left on the TV landscape. Richard Biggs in the series played Dr. Russell Flynn. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 43, and sadly he passed away on May 22, 2004, at 44. And I would have gladly provided him with that information, but he took logs for the past three months. I'm sure he was just checking Mr. Vega's case against the others to determine if the emergency... George Coe in the series to play Warren Lauer. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 73 and sadly passed away on July 18, 2015 at 86. My business. Since when? Well, I'm just saying I don't know what's going on and I don't think I want to know. Don't tell me that you think I'm gay too. Ken Kuchavo in the series to play Claude Manning. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 67 and sadly passed away on April 21st, 2019 at 83. For over 40 years, Doctor, and I've thought of my little girl every single day. And then last week... Brad William Hank in the series to play Andy Lebowski. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 36 and sadly passed away on November 29, 2022 at 56. Research for what? I'm going into the pizza business. Pizza business? Ah, oh, clams? Must be a b James Avery in the series to play Dr. Eckhart. In 2003, when he was in the series, he was 58 and sadly passed away on December 31st, 2013 at 68. Okay, people, I'm calling it. Time of death, 10.35. Miguel Ferro in the series to play Dr. Garrett Macy. In 2001, when he was in the series, he was 46, and sadly he passed away on January 19, 2017, at 61. The mayor got wind that you aren't focused on the biggest manhunt this town has ever seen. That's a lie. People talk. Who exactly? When you work around the... Shirley Knight in the series to play Frances Littleton. In 2004, when she was in the series, she was 68, and sadly she passed away on April 22nd, 2020, at 83. That's funny because that's his car right there. I'll tell him that you're looking for him, if I see him. You don't mind if we come in, do you? James Khan in the series to play Ed Deline. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 64, and sadly he passed away on July 22nd, 2020, at 79. You don't know me, so I'm gonna let that go. But if you think for one second that you're running this show... Ian Abercrombie in the series to play George. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 68 and sadly passed away on January 26, 2012 at 77. Been a while. She's requested I find you and give you this. Okay. Thanks. May I say what a pleasure it is to see you looking so Nan Martin in the series she played Lydia. In 2001, when she was in the series, she was 74, and sadly she passed away on March 4, 2010 at 82. I never knew I was pregnant when he left. Would you happen to know what this is, too? Ken Howard in the series she played Max Cavanaugh. In 2001, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on March 23rd, 2016, at 71. The force. That was then and this is six years later. And they made an overture to me by inviting me back into the card game. How could I resist? Carl Rayner in the series to play Harry Macy. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 80 years old and sadly passed away on June 29, 2020, at 98 partner Murray and I, we got in a little trouble with these Cuban fellows down in Miami to work off the debt. We agreed to run some money for them to Boston to launch. Tyler Christopher in the series to play Officer Fisher. 
In 2003, when he was in the series, he was 31, and sadly passed away on November 23rd, 2022, at 50 years old. What did you do during that time? Secured the scene and waited for you. And in securing the scene, you kept people away from the car? It wasn't too hard, sir. There was no one around. Tony Longo in the series to play Donald Jean. In 2007, when he was in the series, he was 46. And sadly, he passed away on June 21st, 2015, at 53. The door jams, the molding, everything I did was wrong. He sounded just like my father. Paul Winfield in the series to play Dr. Philip Sanders. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 63 and sadly passed away on March 7, 2004, at 64. Me, a life and death emergency, minus the life and the emergency part, right? Right. So let me show you around. Well, actually, I have a lecture in. Edward Herman in the series to play Captain Thomas Mountain. In 2003, when he was in the series, he was 60 years old, and sadly passed away on December 31st, 2014, at 71. About your age. I've kept the case open for 23 years. <sighs> I'm a realist and a cop, but I'd always held out. Eddie Jones in the series to play Pete O'Malley. In 2005, when he was in the series, he was 71 and sadly passed away on July 6, 2019 at 84. I wanted to spend it. But you're not going to spend it. Got to turn you in. I'm real sorry to hear that. Francesco Quinn in the series to play the lead Cuban. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on August 5, 2011 at 48. So let me get this straight. You're gonna give us back the money just like that? That's right. What's the catch? No catch. You Richard Gilliland in the series to play Charles Monroe. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 54 and sadly passed away on March 18, 2021, at 71. Say! She, she was tired of her husband. She wanted out. Okay. It's the night of June 6, 1994. Your car is parked outside of Harrison's... Larry Drake in the series to play Tom. In 2003, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly passed away on March 17, 2016, at 67. Tom could have think a tube of toothpaste. Hey, I'm dumb, not deaf. All I got to say about that is Clark Street Bank Heist. <laughs> Mark Margolis in the series to play Cahill. In 2005, when he was in the series, he was 65 and sadly passed away on August 3rd, 2023 at 83. Uh, aren't we all? He's a big guy, 6566, six, six, blonde. Mm, sounded better all the time. Name's Kavanaugh. They said he was on this floor somewhere. Uh Janet Dubois in the series to play Mrs. Jones. In 2006, when she was in the series, she was 61, and sadly she passed away on February 18, 2020, at 74. What kind of place are you running here? I'm sorry? Thinking my family's grief could be fixed with a bribe. If the pay Jack Clarkman in the series to play Dr. Leo Galber. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 80 years old, and sadly passed away on December 24, 2012, at 90 years old. I'm in file. Great. Actually, this one says sharp. Let me take a look. Well, my uh, filing system's a little messy. Carmen Argenziano in the series to play Diego Ortega. In 2005, when he was in the series, he was 61 and sadly passed away on January 19, 2017, at 72. Thank you. So, like Nicole. You want vengeance. John Polito in the series to play Dick. In 2003, when he was in the series, he was 52 and sadly passed away on September 1st, 2016, at 65. <clears throat> you gonna bet today? Look at Mr. Bluff over here. Now you're like an open book a child could read. William Morgan Shepard in the series to play Clive Albert. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 70 and sadly passed away on January 6, 2019 at 86. Good morning to you. Welcome to Total Mart. 
Anything you want? I'm at your service. Well, for Gregory is in in the series to play Andrew Helm. In 2005, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on July 8, 2022, at 74. Is he 22 years old? This whole life ahead, and I'll never understand why they do it. Garrett, are you sure this is an OD? Yeah. Ron Silver in the series to play Charlie Levine. In 2007, when he was in the series, he was 61 and sadly passed away on March 15, 2009, at 62. The word. The Buckleys have hired me. Inquisition is over. You have singled him out because of his family, and now you are trying to coerce a bogus. What do you think when 28 actors of Crossing Jordan have sadly passed away? And who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.